Hello fellas and welcome back to one of my watch reviews. Um, actually this is kind of a uh, homage uh, review because this uh, review is about the first watch that made me actually uh, end up in this madness we call watch collecting. Um, it's an Invicta. A lot of people have started out with the Invicta brand because the brand at a certain point um, many years ago they made uh, excellent watches for uh, very reasonable prices and the uh, uh, Invicta I have here is uh, one of those examples. Now this is the well-known Invicta uh, coin edge diver old bezel type uh, 9937 equipped with a sapphire and actually if you look closely at the watch uh, this was the model that came maybe uh, very close to the to its uh, its big example the Rolex uh, Submariner this was the uh, watch that made Invicta become a very well-known watch manufacturer and the quality of this Invicta is really, um, considering its price, very stunning. Uh, it's equipped with a sapphire crystal. Uh, this specific model is, I can show you to you, if you look closely on the dial, under the Invicta brand you can see a little part of the word Swiss. There's only very few Invictus 9937s that have this uh, specific Swiss dial, so this is kind of a rarity amongst the uh, Invicta collectors. This one has the screwed holes for the lugs, and they are, uh, so to speak, a pain in the ass because if you like to uh, take off the bracelet, it's a hell of a job getting those out, and it's even more hell of a job to get those screws back in again. And usually, you need uh, a little bit, a little drop of Loctite glue to make sure the screw stays in there, otherwise they just uh, fall out. I have them screwed in and glued at the moment, so I think I'll just leave it where they are now. The bracelet is an oyster type bracelet which is of uh, excellent quality and at the time this watch, watch was issued it was one of the thickest uh, bracelets on the market. Uh, this one is about four millimeters in thickness and it has a deployment clasp which shuts very simple with the uh, Invicta logo there engraved. Of course this watch uh, had its fair share of life and wearing so it has plenty of uh, nicks and scratches but uh, it's a beautiful watch it has a certain feel, the bezel runs smoothly zeroes in quite nicely at 12 o'clock it has the well-known Cyclops there at 3 o'clock magnifying the date and the Mercedes hands and the big crown. However the crown is a little more a little smaller than the uh, crown you would find on uh, a Rolex uh, Submariner but it's uh, good enough to uh, operate this watch. Now looking at the back you will see a Swiss ETA movement 2824 I recently had this watch uh, serviced, which set me back for about uh, over a hundred dollars. But I never regretted it, because this watch will probably stay with me, since it was the first watch that uh, started my collection. You can see the movement and the rotor spinning around through the case back there. Very nice. The sides of the case are polished, the lugs on the top are brushed, and the ink black dial gives the watch a very nice uh, appearance. One of the best Invictas uh, ever made and I didn't want to keep this from you so uh, that's why my tiny review from this uh, Invicta Diver. Thank you people, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you again. Bye bye.